Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to a new summer vlog. This is a non-studio vlog. I mean, you'll see some of my creations and my art process, but I'm not gonna explain how I do things in this type of videos and I'm gonna share more about my life and what I do and hopefully give you some lifestyle inspirations. I hope you enjoyed this type of video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I would love to know. So this week has been very productive. So I'm really happy about that because you know, sometimes it's easier and it feels good. <laughs> Here you can see me prepare and pack some orders. And by the way, these bookmarks are now sold out on my Etsy shop so thank you thank you so much if you have bought them I'm so happy that you enjoy them too because I love them so much and they were my very first bookmarks available so I don't know it's so cool <laughs> I think it's really cool and as I said I feel like it's another way to connect with you so I'm glad that you like them too now there are new bookmarks available that I've shown you in my previous video I've showed you the process so you can also watch that video if you're interested and they are now available on my shop too so go check them out if you're interested I'm going to try to create regularly some new bookmarks and stickers because I think it's pretty cool to have new items regularly on the shop. You also have the paintings available too and I <laughs> regularly create new paintings so there are always new paintings available. They are actually my favorite type of product to make because I love painting but I think it's nice to have also other items and products and I'm gonna try to create new items but I want to create them myself like the other ones so I mean I need to run some tests and see how they look and what I can get yeah I'll talk about that later here you can see me do some editing so I usually do my creations my art but I also make videos i also post on other social media like instagram and also answer emails and and then i prioritize to to know what to do first let me know in the comments if you'd like me to talk about how i organize my days and things like that then that day i had some errands to run and then i met my husband for a drink so it was near Lake <laughs> like Lake Edson and it's so nice because you have the water and I like this type of atmosphere and it's really nice if you are in Paris I would highly recommend The next day I had some email to answer, I've posted on Instagram and washed my hair so <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I've used. So first I've used this product that is a multi-purpose type of product because you can actually wash your hair or wash your body, your face or even your teeth with it so pretty cool. It's from Dr. Bronner's and it contains tea tree oil and it's pretty good for dandruff. And I've also bought this conditioner from Shea Master that is really good for dandruff too. I've used it on my scalp and also on my hair. It's really refreshing on the scalp and really moisturizing for the hair. And I then add this black up, call me up, definer cream, which is really good to define the curls and it also seals moisture in your hair so really like that and I love using both of these products to do my twists. The next day I decided to make the new bookmarks in advance and I also had to change the printer toners the ink and you actually have to do that pretty regularly because I mean I run out of that pretty quickly it depends on what you're printing and yeah if you use a lot your printer or not but this has a cost I have to say Thank you. 
Then I usually align the print head, so, so it's a parameter that you have to check in your printer. And there is another one too. I'm not sure how you call that in English, but you also have to check the nozzles, I think, of the print head. So yeah, just make sure that everything is okay when you change the ink. And I also do that regularly when I see that the print is not perfect, that like there are some bits that are not right. Then I printed the last landscape bookmarks and also cut them with my silhouette portrait machine, my cutting machine, while watching TV shows. And that's really nice when you're working from home. And it's also nice to have a headphone and listen to something because the cutting machine is pretty loud. <laughs> Then I've made some of the new bookmarks in advance. They take quite some time to make, so I wanted to have some in advance already prepared and done before the launch. I've shown you how I make these bookmarks in my previous video, if you want to go check that out. And they are on my Etsy shop, if you also want to check that out. I think they are really cute with the gold details and I would love to know what you think of them. Also let me know if there are some particular things that you would like me to show you in these vlogs or if you have any questions, please leave them below. The next day I went to visit a friend and have lunch with her and her newborn who is so cute. And here I'm getting ready. I'm gonna show you the final result of my twist out. I think it's really nice. The curls are well defined, my hair is well moisturized, so really like the result. Let me know what you think. And let me know if you have already tried this product too, what you think of them. On my way back to home, I went to a art supply store that is called Rougier Play that you can find in Paris and I bought some paper, this glue for my bookmarks and also these wood panels and I've already tried to paint on wood which wasn't a <laughs> great success so I want to try that out again and this wood is different than the previous one that I've used so I'm gonna try to do that and I'm gonna use my hooks, my fixation to add uh, something on the back I've also bought this glue that is a tape form which is interesting and this staple remover because I also bought a stapler which is pretty big because I have an idea in mind and I ordered it on Amazon. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, let me know what you think, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye!